Jean Castex is not a new name in French politics. A conservative mayor of a southwestern town, he's worked for former right-wing president Nicolas Sarkozy and was recently put in charge of planning the lifting of France's lockdown. Nevertheless, few people in France had heard of him until he was named prime minister, replacing Edouard Philippe by President Emmanuel Macron during a cabinet reshuffle. Il nous faudra plus que jamais we will need more than ever to reunite the nation, to fight this crisis among us and above all, continue the deep reforms that you've undertaken so that we will emerge stronger and more united. Philippe had served as Prime Minister since 2017 when Macron was elected. Like Castex, Conservative Philippe was little known when he took up the position, but he soon became one of France's most respected politicians, steering the country through the coronavirus crisis with his trademark no-nonsense approach. I'm rather moved in saying this, but be good. And as we say where I come from, let the wind carry you. Edouard Philippe may have become too popular for Emmanuel Macron's comfort, which is why the president may have chosen a prime minister unlikely to overshadow him. He's, he's a low-key politician. In a way, Emmanuel Macron is saying, I'm the president and I am the prime minister, and I have an efficient collaborator to take charge of the day-to-day -day running of, of the government. Edouard Philippe, his predecessor as prime minister, was uh, a more flamboyant uh, type of politician. He was recently on the cover of Paris Match magazine uh, and, and people started seeing him a little bit as an alternative or a rival to Emmanuel Macron. This will not happen with Jean Castex. Castex's appointment will disappoint those that had hoped Macron would choose a woman as his next prime minister or a politician with an environmental background after big wins by the Green Party in this week's local elections. Macron says he wants the last two years of his presidential term to be a period of renewal. He's promised to reinvent himself, but his choice of prime minister may fail to convince some that he's serious about change. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.